Hi, I'm Molly with West Virginia University Extension Family Nutrition Program, and today we're gonna make Parmesan Roasted Cabbage Wedges. Say that three times. <laughs> the first thing that we need to do anytime we start cooking is wash our hands and our cooking surface. I've already done that, so I'm ready to get started. We're gonna preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Anytime we are cooking with fresh vegetables, you wanna make sure you wash them thoroughly under running water. And I have scrubbed the outside of my cabbage with a vegetable scrubber, and now I'm ready to cut into it. So we're gonna cut our cabbage in half. and then turn our cabbage over so that our flat side is down to make it easier to cut and cut those halves into halves. And then at this point, we are going to remove this tough core from the cabbage. A lot of times if I'm making coleslaw or something where I'm shredding the cabbage, I bang the cabbage really hard on the countertop and that breaks up this core. But since I want to keep this cabbage intact for the recipe, I'm just gonna cut out this tough inner part. While we're waiting for our oven to preheat, I'm gonna place my wedges on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet, cut side up, and then I'm going to brush about four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil onto the wedges. And you wanna make sure to get down in all the nooks and crannies. This would be a fun, job for kids to do. You don't often get to paint in the kitchen. And this is gonna help our salt and pepper stick to the cabbage. Now I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to each cabbage wedge. Cabbage is full of antioxidants. It is high in fiber, so it's gonna be wonderful for our overall digestive health. And I've got some fresh cracked black pepper. Cabbage also has vitamin B6 and folate. And you can definitely not add pepper to some of these if you have children that would turn their nose up to that. I think some um, crushed red pepper would be good if you like spicy. And now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese to each of our wedges. And I'm gonna do the wedges, the cut side that's exposed and then kind of turn it over because we don't want to miss out any of this yummy Parmesan cheese. And hopefully that olive oil is going to help it stick. This is another job that little hands might enjoy. And always a good idea to buy a big block of cheese and grate it yourself. It's a money saver. Just make sure we get as much of that cheese on the cabbage as we can. And it looks like I'm ready to go in the oven. So this is going to go in our 425 degree preheated oven for about 25 minutes. And you can keep an eye on it after 25 minutes.
We've cooked our cabbage for about 25 minutes, and as you can tell, it is nice and golden brown. The, the cabbage leaves have kind of opened up and that oil has gotten down inside, and I am excited to try this. Mmm. It is still crisp, tender, and really delicious. That Parmesan cheese adds a lot. This would be a great side dish to serve alongside chicken or fish, and it is something that the kids can help you cook in the kitchen and then enjoy afterwards. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you check out our webpage for the full recipe and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all of our video uploads. Thanks again. Bye-bye.